Okay, in this video, um, I have a look at creating a, a twisted profile. I want it to be the same size as we go along there. So we've got our length, we've got our two profiles on there. So we can do this a few different ways, um, but we might not got, get the accuracy that we want. So if I do a sweep, single path and cross section, um, choose my path, choose my cross section, on there and then go into the options and we can go and add our twist option on there 0.25 and that's going to give us our um, swept profile the only problem with this is that um, we will end up with um, curves or sizes that aren't accurate to what we want so if I go and create a, a curve on here um, and we go and create a intersection curve between those two. And then if we go and create a sketch on there, on that plane, and if we go and link to um, to these elements on my sketch, and then dimension those up, you can see that that should be, actually I can't actually do it that way really, can I? So let's go and do that that way and get that. You can see we're down slightly on there. And then if we go on here, so it's 25 by 9 to this profile, and we're down slightly on there. So we, we're not, it's not ideal on there. So um, let's um, get rid of those. Um, actually, let's just come out of there, and we'll, we'll suppress those and just, and just try this another way. Okay. Um, let's, just, let's just get rid of them, it's going to be easier. Okay, so um, the, the other options are, obviously we've got the loft command, so um, if I go and loft that between there and there, we've got that right kind of shape. We can get our preview, we can go and change our tangency conditions. Um, but but we're going to get exactly the same problem on there when we loft when we do that section between those. So if I create this plane on here, I'm going to play, place that at 0.5 again, and let's go and create our intersection curve. So we can go and take that into our sketch, and then we'll sketch and go and copy these elements onto here, um, same way we did before that one and that one and then let's go and measure those distance between so you can see that we've got the same the same kind of problem on there apart from even worse so that was 25 before and now we've got 17.29 and if we go and do this on this one it's going to be it's going to be similar on here as well we do so we can see that our entire section has shrunk as it's gone round on there. So let's um, go back and have a look at um, the solution that we're going to have a look at on here. Okay, so if we get rid of those features, um, come out of the sketch first. Okay, we're back down to the way we were. So now what we want to do, we want to create a, um, a curve linking these up. And then we can have a look at going and creating it. So what we're going to do on here, we're going to create two sketches using splines or curves, whatever we want to call those. Um, so for this, I'm going to turn my base reference planes on and I'm going to sketch on that. And I'm going to go back to a um, isometric style view on there. And here I'm going to go and create a line and I'm going to convert this into a curve. So I want we want that point to, to go over to that point. So that's our part of our first line, but we're going to go and convert this into a curve. So I'm going to turn it into a curve. That is now a curve. And I need to go and change the degree on there. So for that I'm going to go and increase the degree on there to three. And notice we've now got these elements that we can go and change. So what I want to do, I'm going to horizontal and vertical that to there. And I'm going to dimension that up as well. So our line there is 450, so this dimension needs to be 150. 
to make sure we've got the appropriate tangency on there. And if I do the same on that one, we'll do the 150 and we'll do our horizontal and vertical to that one as well. Okay, so if I go, get back to my control H sketch view, we've got our first curve um, over there. This might actually be the wrong way around, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to go and change this. So I'm actually going to go and connect this to the other side. So this actually needs to be over this side on here. We won't do it with a horizontal and vertical. So let's get rid of that first. Okay, make that change. And get rid of that dimension as well. Should we do this right? Connect. It doesn't like it. Drag it. So let's get that connected up to there. And let's get that 150 between the end point of the line and our curve edit point on that. There we go, that's our curve looking much better. And then we're going to do a similar one going upwards on here as well. So I'm going to finish that one. I'm going to do another one on here. So for this one, let's do a, a line. So I want to go from there, or not there, I want to hover over there and go to my intersect point, and then do the same up here. Convert that into a curve again. Do that same, click click back on it and change our degree to three on that. So we've got our two control points. Go into our horizontal and vertical between our control point and end point for each of those. And then use distance between so we can select the, the key point and the end point. Uh, make sure we've got 150. This 150 could be controlled linked to the, the line that we've got as well if we wanted. So those are our two curves ready to go on there. So if we close that, we're gonna, we can then use these two to go and create the appropriate curve that we're going to use for our sweep. So we're going to go back to our surface in and we're going to use a, a cross curve. So here we select the first curve we created, accept, and then choose the second curve we created and we're going to get our sweep. So if I finish that and hide those two previous ones, we can see that sweep. And if I hide our 450 sketch on there as well, we can see we've got our sweep with our perfect tangency at either end. And we're pretty good on there. OK, so now we're going to go back into our loft command. Uh, sorry, not loft, sweep command. And you can see we've got all sorts of different options. If we want to do maintain cross section, uh, we need to do single path and cross section. Um, always start with these on the first setting. So we're going to go and create that on there. So we're going to choose our path, accept. Keep an eye on here. It's going to be our cross section now. So we're going to go on our cross section. We're going to choose that point on there. And then we're going to go into our sweep options and, I'll, and turn that twist on. So we're going to go in and turn that twist on. And we've now got our twist in the correct orientation. If we go into here, we've got our option where we can make sure that we've got maintain our sweep. Um, so because this is just running linear, um, it's not actually going to work on here. But you'll find that we don't actually need that. So um, let me just go and create the sweep again on there because I just cancelled out of that. I should have edited. So let's do my path. Let's do my cross section again. And go and spin that round again on that. Now let's go and check our cross section using the same method we did before. So I'm going to go and create my plane, coincident to axis. Make sure we actually click on it. Sorry, normal to curve even. So I want to go 0.5 on that. I'm going to create my intersection curve. So this is going to create our curve on that surface that we can then work with. We can then sketch um, coincident to that plane we've just done. And we can go and bring this geometry in. So um, I can go and just choose wireframe chain a little bit quicker if I do that. 
and then we can use our smart dimension and we can see we've got 25 and 90 which are our original um, sizes that we've got before okay so if I come out of that I will, if what, um, so if we go back to original sketch we can see those are our original sizes 25 by 90 and if I go and change this plane we can go and check this in different locations so if I go and edit that plane I'm just going to bring it down this end you can see it's updated and our sketch if we go back into there we can see that we've still got those sizes correct so that is as though that is twisted from one to the other and we've kept that correct on there so let's think about some of the additional items that we might want to do we might want to do a thin wall on here I might want to remove these two end faces and that's going to work nicely for us on there so we've got that profile running all the way along there so we've got that nice um, nice profile running through there as well so if I just hide um, hide all the sketches on there and then let's hide all the planes as well so we can more clearly see what we've got on there okay hopefully that's useful Thank you very much.